since this video was highly requested, I had to test. In this video, I will be doing a performance review on the iPhone 15 Pro Max as well as the iPad Pro M4. Anyways, I am testing in the new iOS 18.1 beta and in 25 Celsius ambient temperature. And as you can see, all the settings are set to max settings. Quick note, 120fps is exclusive to just the iPad Pros this time. Also, game mode is enabled. Well, now that settings are all set, last but not least, I want to also thank GameSir for sending me a review unit of their latest G8 Plus controller that works with both iPhones, Androids, and now small tablets. With that being said, thanks for watching and see you after the FPS testing. You wanna go underneath?
Okay, so now that I've tested for quite some time, let's talk about FPS averages before we move on to testing the iPad Pro M4. And as you saw, FPS performance was a smooth 60 frames per second with some occasional small dips here and there. Now for heat, I played for about 20 minutes and my iPhone 15 Pro Max peaked up to 43 Celsius. In my opinion, this isn't too bad, but also not the greatest. I definitely encourage dropping down graphics settings if you're planning to do more than 30 minutes of gaming. But for a 20 to 30 minute gaming session, the iPhone here handles max graphics with ease. Now let's talk about the iPad Pro M4. Here on the iPad, resolution is much higher and therefore cannot be compared to the iPhone. Looking at the settings, graphic options are very similar, but 120 FPS is exclusive to the iPad Pro, which is a smart move by the developers. With that being said, I'll test for about 15 minutes and then we'll discuss peak temperature and FPS averages. So now that I've tested for about 15 minutes, it's quite obvious the iPad Pro cannot sustain a smooth 120fps in combat. Unlike Genshin Impact, Zenless Zone Zero is more demanding and therefore, FPS occasionally dips to the high 80s before spiking back up to the 120fps setting. However, FPS still averaged about 116 frames per second as these dips are very brief. Now for in the city, as you can see, the iPad is able to run a smooth, stable 120fps. This iPad overall didn't get nearly as hot as the iPhone, and as of now, the best way to play this game for the mobile platform. In conclusion, Zenless Zone Zero is a well-optimized game and runs great on flagship devices. As for this GameSir G8 Plus controller, it provides a very similar experience to the regular G8 version. However, 
The big difference is it can now support small tablets like the iPad mini. This controller is Bluetooth connected and does work well with most phone cases. This G8 Plus is a premium controller and one of the best for mobile gaming. Provided a link for those interested in the description below. Nevertheless, thanks for watching and stay tuned for more performance testing like this.